Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Wright, broadcasting out of the east of England into your homes, onto your phones. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, I would like to um, just say hi and ask you to subscribe if you want to see more of me or you can either share or you can like or dislike. Basically, I want you to talk about the vaccine passports. Now, just got news that British Airways are coming out um, with uh, their own, they're introducing or launching their own vaccine passport, which is supposed to take place on the 17th of May. And they're trying to get all the other um, airlines on board so that travel can start as soon as possible. Um, they're supposed to have designers and all sorts designing this new passport. I don't understand why it needs to be so complicated and expensive. I mean, to get designers to create something that's so simple, why do they need to do that? All you've got to do for those people who've had their second vaccines, when they have the first vaccine, they give you this card, a nondescript card. It's just got the type of vaccine that you've had, the date that you've had it, and the type of vaccine. And I think your name is on it. Nothing else. There's no picture or anything. So all they've got to do is when these people go for their second vaccine, they sit in front of a desk, which you have to do anyway, just like when you're going to university or you um, go to college or even when you upload government information on the website to get your passport. All they've got to do is have one of those integrated cameras that takes your photograph when you've had your second vaccine at the same time as you go for your second vaccine and take your picture, have it laminated like they do when you go to um, college. And Bob's your uncle, there's your passport ID. Why does it have to be so complicated? Why does it need so much discussion? It's because they want to take the, the um, responsibility well, that's not even taking the responsibility away from the individual, because on the one hand, they're saying that they have an, the NHS app, which you can up, which you can upload and record your information if you've had your second vaccine. But um, people have researched it and they can't find the app. They, well, they can find the NHS app, but there's no option to upload the information about your vaccine. They also say that even on the health records where they've logged the vaccine is under medications and not under vaccination. So it's even more difficult to locate that you've had the vaccine. So why don't they make it simple? All you've got to do is notify people or you give them the confirmed second date. Say, bring along your passport or your driving license. They take your photograph. They verify it against the license or, or the, the passport, and that's it. You walk away with your vaccine passport. Now, if airlines and other institutions want to create their own custom-made passport, then that's up to them. But at least you have what you need to protect yourself and to show as ID. But that would be too simple. I don't think that they want to give individuals that autonomy so soon. I have a funny feeling, this is just my opinion, that they need to drag it out. You know, when things are dragged out, it makes it look as though it's more important, it's more hype. You know, people get more and more excited when they know things are in stages. I mean, that's the British way of doing things. They do things in stages. It's such a long, laborious um activity most people you can do it like that there are simple ways to get things done you don't have to spend millions and millions on resources on something that can be done at the same time as you're getting your sex, second vaccination now the eu they're supposed to be coming out with their own um, vaccination passport or what they call a green certificate why do they need more than one why don't individuals just have one global vaccination passport that is recognized from their country all over the place.
all you know they just have to verify it and they verify it when they when they um take the photograph when we have um id for government organizations they take the photograph it's got an electronic stamp it's laminated and that's it you're good to go i don't understand well i do kind of understand like i said we live in a control a, a, a country that is very controlling or should we say we live in a world that is very controlling and it's almost like the more control they get the more control they want so it does seem as though they do want to have that um they want to determine when the vaccine passports they don't want it to be in dribs and drabs they want to determine when the vaccine passport goes out to everybody so everybody who's been rushing to get the vaccine so they can go on holidays still now have to wait for another authority in order to go. It's 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 really a waste of money. And they're talking about all the countries in debt. They need to get people on the ground to assist them instead of all these scientists and professors who claim to know it all. And the basic things they don't know. I mean, all of a sudden, I mean... Me and my friend were there talking about setting up, um, why don't they just set up vaccination centres all in the malls and in the, in the swimming pool places and, you know, unused premises. Now you're seeing them, you know, it's six or seven months later, you're seeing them all over the place. It's not difficult. But they, you know, it. I find that I never forget when I went to college and they said, if it's not made difficult, it has no value. So a lot of these processes are made difficult deliberately to give it more kudos, to give it more value. But people just want to get on with their lives. People just want to get on a plane and go away. What I don't know if the plan is to just deflate people um permanently so they just say i can't even be bothered or you know when you're programmed over a certain period i mean we've had nearly a year where people have not been on holiday they're used to going twice a year and so maybe they've reached a point where they say i can't be bothered to go anymore i've lost the oomph. i've lost the desire and that might even extend to like entertainment to going to the pub to going out for a meal People might have become so conditioned to live at home or being in their home that they might not even want to go out and enjoy themselves again. They've forgotten what it's like. And they've got used to now being with their families and, and having to be satisfied with their lot. And is that the ploy? Are we meant to be come like that, segregated, insulated, isolated is that the ploy just asking the question because that's what's going to happen if they carry this on too long and make things so difficult that people cannot be interested people lose interest i should say i did a previous video this morning and um, talking about how difficult it is for landlords and employers to employ people because there's so much red tape so they don't bother. Is that what we're heading for? Yes, they say we give you freedom. Yes, you can do this. Yes, you can do that. But there's so much red tape that people just cannot be bothered. What will they be asking? They're, they're supposed to be asking health questions. You, in order to get this passport, they're asking you health questions. They should just be interested in whether or not you've had the vaccination. Why do all these other health questions need to come into play? You know, is it to heighten medical insurance? Is it to make, is it to decide who can visit, who can travel, who cannot? Why do you need any more questions other than the fact that you've had the vaccine? That's all you should need. But oh no, I don't know what kind of questions they're going to ask. Maybe it's going to be like, if you want to come into the country, um, you know, like when you England is saying that in order to come to the country, you need a certain amount of finances and you need to have no criminal records and you need a, 
a certain level of English. Is that what they're planning for people to want to travel abroad? Is it really about stopping international travel or limiting international travel? Just putting it out there, peeps. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Yeah, I think, I th okay, what they have said is that 40 million have had the first dose of the vaccine. They anticipate that by September 2021, 70% will have received the first dose. So <clears throat> it doesn't look like anybody can plan any holiday this year, like I said in a previous video, until you get the go-ahead. And that go-ahead is going to be a long time coming by the looks of things. It's no point planning a holiday or paying for a holiday at this point. But airlines, they're going to want your money. They're going to say, yes, everything is back to normal. But there's a lot of red tape before you're going to be able to travel. So just keep your, your ears to the ground and find out what's going on before you commit yourself to um, putting down a deposit that may not be refundable, depending on the terms. Always look at the small print. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.